Chris, what are we gonna talk about? The panoramic photo. No, it's not a photo, it's a sketch. The panoramic sketch. Yeah, the one the guy drew perched on the top of a sailing vessel in the harbor. Yeah, he was perched up top of the mast right about here, Pier 21, and uh, this was his point of observation. Let's get Eleanor to tell the story. This is a sketch that was actually produced in 1855. And this predates any photographs that we have of the downtown uh, area or the harbor. And this is a picture of uh, the downtown area uh, where the strand is. And you can see at that time, um, all of these long wharves projecting out into the water because the bay was very, very shallow. So in order to get ships unloaded, they had to have these docks extending out into the water about a quarter of a mile. Um, so the ships could pull up and from there, the cargo would be unloaded onto these horse-drawn wagons and wheeled into downtown where it could be sold out of these various businesses. That's a cool sketch. That guy must have been way up there. And the harbor doesn't look anything like that anymore. No, I think, it, I think it's all been filled in. Yeah, we'd be in the water right now. So harbor side was actually finished out a little bit later. Uh, whenever the, the harbor was deepened, they were able to sort of extend the street out and build along, it was Water Street and then later became called Harbor Side. But what we're looking at here is even predating that. So this is the strand here. Most of these buildings, you can see it looks quite a bit different than it does now. There are not the elaborate iron front buildings or the brick structures. These are all wooden frame structures. Uh, most of them are just two stories high. There are a couple of three-story buildings, but nothing very large, nothing ornate like we have now. And that's because of the hurricanes, the fires that we've had um, over the years in Galveston. You will see this is this is actually 21st Street here. So these this is this would be tr Strand and 21st St. Mary's Cathedral. You can see, and that building is still standing. That's one of the probably the only structure still standing. Um, today and that was built in 1847 so it was just a few years old when this sketch was drawn so i got my buddy to come down and tell us a few stories about this who george george so this is the rooftop oh, bar yeah, at the tree you can see the nice beautiful rooftop bar the tree mark best view on the island and you could see from here you could see the gulf of mexico here to the south you could see the harbor to the to the north here, and you could see all of our church steeples. When that drawing is done, none of these tall buildings are here. Everything is about no more than about three stories. So you could see from a ship's mast, you could still clear across the island uh, out into the harbor. And in fact, a lot of the merchants, what they would do is they would set in the top of these buildings keep an eye out for incoming vessels coming into the harbor and when a new ship would come in, they'd go down to the dock and negotiate a deal for its cargo and they would be the middleman for that. Um, and the way that this was captured is that the artist actually climbed on top of the mast of a sailing vessel. Um, you can see some examples of those here. So he actually climbed up to the top um, and just made a large sketch of what he, what he saw. Um, of the harbor area. So it's really a unique perspective. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, predates any photography, especially that would cover this amount of this uh, amount of area of the island at that time. So it's really an interesting um, peek into history um, and really w the one piece that gives you the best view of what Galveston looked like in its very early years. So this guy that climbed up the sailing mast to uh, draw the sketch, he'd have been around this I would have think he'd have been right about where we're at, standing. He would have been up a mast someplace, but he would have been, in a, we're in a stone's throw of it here. We're, yeah. we're, we could swing a dead cat and be in that area. She said the mast was, what, about 100 feet? Yeah, about 100 feet. And think. that's uh, the Alyssa. Similar to there. the Alyssa. Alyssa over there would be about 100. So he would have been on center and top of the Alyssa mast. He'd have climbed all the way to the top yeah. of that mast. And from there, or from here, mm -hmm. up the mast, he could see down yeah. all the way to the Gulf. Right. 